Okay. Right? Can you prove chronologically? Okay. No problem. Right? 42 was written a year afterwards. Okay, Can you no prove problem. that? No problem. He's got a bigger issue now. Listen, just stop talking. Just stop oh, talking. Okay. 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 I respond to him in sign language because he told me to stop talking. Prove that. Yeah. Prove it. <laughs> prove it. Stop. You're, talk you're yeah. talking to everyone yeah. and you think okay. you're excited. Okay. Everybody, he said that Isaiah 21. I'm going to refute him on that. I told him not to bring it up. It's worse than a David point. But anyway, okay, it's worse than it. He said that according to Isaiah 20, 21, Kedar is going to be terminated. But yeah, according to him, Isaiah 42 is talking about Jesus. But when he comes, Kedar will rejoice. How could somebody who died 700 exactly. years before Jesus rejoice? You didn't even respond to my question. Which means exactly. that they still exist. You didn't even respond to my question. Which means they still exist. 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 In Isaiah 42, yeah. you have to prove, okay? Yeah. If you're saying, we, in the text, it says in verse 21, uh, 21 16, it says within a year. You've got within to, three years, according to the Dead Sea Scrolls. It says Dead Sea Scrolls. Stop Dead changing. Scrolls, See, three years. Like to change the subject. Uh, within three yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. Stick, to the, stick to the text, okay? Yeah. In three the text, years, Dead Sea Scrolls. You see, you see, you're going to cut me off. Okay, in the text, it says within a year. Now, if you're, if you're saying, okay, but because the, you, if you're saying it, it would have happened many years uh, afterwards and it could have been uh, verse 32, okay. you have to prove that Isaiah did not write 42 within that year. You have to prove that chronologically. Can you do that? That's a direct question. Can you prove that Isaiah, was, Isaiah 42 was not written within a year? Prove that. Okay, number one, your question does not make Don't sense. Don't change the subject, prove that. Question does make sense. Your question did not make sense uh, because first you give the erroneous interpretation to Isaiah 21 that the Kedar no, shall cease uh, to exist. You, you can't prove it. Let's go to the next point. Well, no, 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 it increases worse. Listen, talking doesn't help. One minute, one minute. Talking, talking doesn't help. Why are you talking for an argument? Okay. okay. All right, one second. The first mistake Godwin said, yeah, was that Isaiah 42, because Matthew claimed this about Jesus, referred to Jesus, but Jesus called Gentiles a dog. The prophet said he's for all of mankind. One nil to me. <laughs> then he said, one nil to yeah, me. Yes. <laughs> then, <laughs> then he said, uh, if I can't, David in a two nil. But uh, <laughs> number two, yeah. He said in Isaiah chapter 21, he never gave no historical context, never even explained the text properly. He said, he said, Kedar shall fail, they shall not cease to, they shall cease to exist. But according to him, in chapter 42, it's a prophecy of Jesus, which means Kedar would have had to exist, exist at the time of Jesus. Exactly. So that was exactly. erroneous point number two, which is 2 nil to me. Now the third point, which is going to refute you thoroughly, Isaiah 40, uh, 21 has to be talking about after the time of Jesus. Shall I tell you why? Shall I tell you why? Because the verses before what he quoted, it says, Ye dead and nights, the dead and nights, you shall dwell in the thickets of Arabia. Now, if you go to historical sources, the dead and nights moved to Arabia after the Roman exile in the first and the second century, which means this prophecy has to be after the time of Jesus. Point number one. Point number two, then it speaks about an event after the time of the dead and nights that somebody will be, free, be fleeing from the bowl of Kedar and that people should give him refuge, give him bread and the, um, the splendor of Kedar shall fail. What does that refer to? When the Prophet Muhammad and Ummi peace, he left Makkah and Abu Jahl and they were trying to kill the Prophet and he went to Medina and they fed him bread. They took him in and what happened within three years according to Dead Sea Scrolls? The Battle of Badr, the pagans of Arabia, the pagans of Makkah, the Kedar, they were destroyed. Their glory was destroyed. 300 of them died in the Battle of Badr. Isaiah foretold that. So 3-0 to me or was it 4-0? Okay. Okay, last point before I leave. I want you to leave. Are you going to run? No, I mean leave it. Leave it to you. I don't need to run nobody. Yeah? The last point, I want him to everybody to pay attention and I want him to tell me how Isaiah 42, the very verses he quoted, referred to Jesus when he called the Gentiles a dog. And he only healed her because she defeated him in wisdom. And it doesn't refer to Prophet Muhammad and Ubi. Don't run from that point. Okay, over to you. Okay. So, 
I'm gonna move on because I've asked you. I've asked you. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. Answer this question. Answer this question. Hey, listen. I'm gonna continue on in Isaiah 42 to show that this is Jesus. I've really thought. We really deal with the first one. Wait, wait, wait. Did I cut you off? Did I cut you off? Did I understand it? Yes, many times. Did I understand it? I just went to verse 10 when you were. No, no. I'm sticking with verse 42. Verse one first. No, verse 42. Chapter 42, verse one. Okay. Right. So. Two things I want to make very, very clear. Number one thing that I made, that, I expect, that, that was clear in the text. Jesus, in the book of Matthew chapter 12, okay, is fulfilled. The very, the very same chapter, the Bible speaks about Jesus fulfilling it in Matthew chapter 12. Matthew That's clear. Okay. Number two, in Isaiah chapter 21, it says that, take care that we are terminated. I then asked you, can you prove Okay, that Ezekiel, um, Isaiah, um, in the chapter in the chapter forty-two, that he wrote this after a one year. You couldn't prove that. You just started whiffing about all other things. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this verse and I continue on proving why it's Jesus and why it's not Muhammad. So let's continue. Verse uh, also mentioned forty-two. When the Wait, no, no, no! Don't talk! Don't talk! Don't talk! Okay, so Isaiah forty-two. Right, so we're going to speak about, so we spoke about verse 1, which speaks about the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yeah. Okay? And so the Bible says that he will bring justice, but, so keep, keep reading it, I will, I will put the Spirit of the Lord and he will bring justice to the nations. Yeah, so okay, it says, did hey, Jesus fulfill that? Can you not cut me off? Yes. He will bring justice to all the nations. In the book of John chapter 5 verse 22, Acts 17 30, <laughs> Ecclesiastic 12 13, check it out. We speak over and over again, it speaks about Jesus Christ coming to bring judgment to all mankind, to all nations. Jesus Christ. No one else, Jesus. So, so let's keep reading. Well, let's keep reading. Um, Isaiah chapter verse two. He will not shout. So I can read it for us. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the street. He will not cry out or shout or raise his voice in the street. Meaning that he was meek, he was humble. Okay, he wasn't overbearing, he wasn't throwing his weight around, he was meek, he, 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 um, he walked to the prostitutes, you know, he, uh, with, the, with the drunkards, he was, he was with them, he loved them, he cared for them, he did not, um, he did not disown them, he was, he was a meek, <laughs> humble man, he didn't need his voice, he no was not overbearing. Alright, so we're going through Isaiah step by step, okay, because I don't want Muslims to ever mention this again in their life. Verse 3. So you're gonna go through every verse, you're gonna get to the we're point. We're gonna, yes, we are. This is the yeah, point. Am I gonna get to this is Jesus. Point? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. When? When I finish. <laughs> when you finish. Yeah, go on, go on. And that was the diamond. Right. And the small thing we hear in the world. Right. Faithfulness will bring forth justice. Okay. So he's saying he will not crush the weakest reader or put out a particular thing. That means he was, he, he, he was compassionate. But I'm saying he didn't go after the weak, okay, or the, or, or the left or the side. He was, he was, he was compassionate no towards them. Verse 4. Again, it speaks about what's the thing speak about. He will not crush the weakest reader. Right, very again, it's speaking about bringing justice to, to, the, earth. to the gentiles. Okay, so it's going to bring justice to all okay. mankind. Okay, okay, now can you give me a point? Hold, keep, no, I'm, I'm going to verse 6. Now it's my turn. Verse now. 6. My no, turn. Verse 6. No, 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 we're going to turn now. No, my no. turn now. I let you finish. I told you when you finish. Give enough time. No, I told you when you finish. I might not be a very good I told you, no. Listen, you gotta be fair. I told you when I, I gave you enough time. No, I never stopped you at any point. Yes, you, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I didn't. I said, I said, when you finish, you finish and I, and I didn't come. So, verse 6. Verse 6. Let me read that again. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of you. Listen, if I wanted to hear this, I'd go to church. I'd give them the point. Yeah. I'd go listen to Jimmy Swagger. Carry on. Right. So, Jesus Christ in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15. Who's Hebrews? Get to the Hebrews, yeah. He brought. The Bible says that he brought a new covenant. Okay. If you read throughout Hebrews 9 15, okay. it speaks about this new covenant. Okay, can I respond? No, to let me finish. Matthew 20 28 as, well. as well, yes, absolutely. Okay, verse 7. Let's read that. So open eyes that are blind to free captives from the prisoners and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. Right. Did it. right, this is powerful. Because it says here, <coughs> you open eyes of the blind. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Did, did Mohammed open the eyes of the blind? Do you know no. what that means? No, I'm not. I haven't finished. Do you know what that means? I haven't finished. Do you know to what that means? To free captives from prison. Okay. Yeah, well, we're just... Mohammed okay. freed him. Okay. Mohammed put people in prison. Okay, okay. Okay. Jesus never put anyone in prison. Okay, so he never freed no one from prison. Uh, and to release okay. from the dungeon right. those who sit in darkness. Okay. That's what Jesus... That's what uh, the, okay. the Bible says. Now. Let me finish. You have to calm yourself down. You have to calm yourself down. We're doing Bible study today. Okay. Um, sorry, next verse. We're going through every single verse. Listen, verse. listen, you're not going to go through the whole book. Yeah, we are. Go. Verse 10. What? I'm giving verse you a second. Okay. Okay. This is the last verse. 
the last verse. The, okay, two more verses. No, two last verse. Yeah, no, I, two I, more I'm verses. gonna be fair. Two, two more verses. Two last verse. It's going through the whole Bible. Read ten, please. It's going through the whole Bible. It's going through the whole Bible. Just pray from the end of the earth, and you'll go down to the sea. And all that isn't it, you island of the Right, that's verse 10. Okay, can I have a Hold on, hold on, hold on, sorry, yeah, yeah, keep, yeah, yeah. I haven't finished, no, yeah. yeah. Keep, keep, keep reading, bro. So, so, yeah, sing with love in your song, praise the earth, uh, those who go out Listen, they're going to edit all this out, you know, no, no one's going to hear this if you carry on. And all who live in them, let the wilderness and its crown raise their voices, let the settlements where Kedar lives with I'll say that louder. Let the people of Salah sing for No, 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 read that verse let again. Them, let them shout for Let the settlements of who? Yeah, we will do that. Who, let let the settlements of who? Let me explain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't sit down Listen, room. I know it's hard. Very hard to do. Thank you. It takes the pressure. Very hard. But it's going to happen today. It's going to happen. Wherever you like it. Very hard to listen to you. Come on. So, clearly saying, okay. Seek the Lord, praise Him, I my heart, from the ends of the earth, all parts of it. So it's saying, people who go down to the sea, and all those who are in it, people, yeah, your islands, people who dwell in these, so it speaks about islands, people who dwell in the islands, yeah. people in the wilderness, people from Kedah, I thought people they don't from, exist. Hold on, hold on. on. People from Selah, people on the mountain top, all people, okay? okay? It's speaking about plural people, right? Yeah, Okay. It's not speaking about a man, from Kedah, yeah. it's speaking about a, a people. A servant to go to them, yeah. yeah. No, no, it doesn't say a servant. So that's not about servant. It's people. Yeah, a servant to go to them, no, no. people. Wait. How does a no, servant mean no, people? My turn now. No, no, no. My turn now. My turn now. My turn now. Back to the point. 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 Last verse, and then you can end your turn now. Last verse. Okay, the Lord will march out like a champion, like a warrior, he will stir up his zeal, he will shout, he will raise the battle cry, and he will triumph over his enemies. Here, he's speaking again about Jesus coming back to judge mankind, he will be triumphant over his enemies. He's speaking about Jesus Christ, the second coming. And so what I'm saying to you is this, is that we know that Muhammad did not set no captive free. We know that Muhammad, okay, Muhammad, uh, he did not. He did not make any blind person see. Okay. We know that for a fact. Okay. But we know that these Whatever. are fulfilled through Jesus Christ. Okay. We know that this text, the scripture we are reading, is fulfilled in the book yeah. of Matthew. Okay. So the question is, why on earth do you think we on earth to say Muhammad? Right. Where does it okay. refer Back to Muhammad? Back to me now. Yes. All right, everybody. Let's recap now. Yeah. First point is this servant will have to deal with the Gentiles. This is what Jesus said. Yeah, and he never responded. Matthew chapter 15 verse um, 22 And behold a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out Have pity on me Lord, son of David My daughter is tormented by a demon But he did not say a word in answer to her His disciples came and asked him send her away For she, after, for she keeps calling her after us He said in reply I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel But the woman came and did him homage saying Lord help me he said in reply, it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. Yeah? So, the, the servant of Isaiah 42, he has to be for the Gentiles. Jesus calls the Gentiles dogs. Point number one. Point number two. Well, he, why do we think of one point? Uh, you want to do something now? You let let speak. Verses. Let speak. Yeah? Point number two. In Isaiah 42, he says, which prison did Muhammad take people out of? He put people in prison and Jesus opened the eyes of the blind. He doesn't know and he needs to read biblical scholarship. That's a metaphor for taking people out of paganism because it also says, wait, I ain't finished. It says he will open the eyes of the blind, open the ears of the deaf, take people out the dungeon, bring people into light. And in Isaiah 35, it says the same things will happen in the desert and the land will be restored. Jesus never went in the desert and opened nobody's eyes. He was in Jerusalem, so that doesn't apply to him. The next point is, he quoted the verse where it says the people of Kedar, the Arabs, descendants of Ishmael, will people. rejoice. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Where does it say the descendants of Ishmael? Okay, one second. Let me speak. Let's you said, where does it say the descendants of Ishmael? I'm saying, okay, I said the carry on, carry on. Let me finish. Let me finish. 
He, the people of the descendants of Ishmael, Kedah, Genesis 25, the second son of Ishmael is Kedah, and he obviously didn't live at the time of Jesus or Muhammad. So Kedah refers to his descendants just like Judah referred to the descendants of Judah. So the people of Kedah will rejoice when the servant comes. According to him, Kedah died a thousand years before in the time of Isaiah. So he has to explain that. Number two, when did Jesus come to the descendants of Ishmael and make them rejoice? Shout from the mountain to the praises of God. And he also says the servant will come to Mount Salah. Go type in Google where Mount Salah is. It's a mountain in Medina. So tell me, tell everybody here when Jesus went to Mecca and Medina and the Hijaz. Over to so you. This is all just bullet talk. You're just, you're just rambling, <laughs> rambling, 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 rambling. You're not dealing with the subject. You're not dealing with the scripture. You're not dealing with the text. <laughs> Answer okay? the point. Right. So, but the, so the I'm first so point. This gonna be the first point you made. Okay. Um, is that about the the woman? Uh, the, the South Kishan, yeah, yeah, we got it there, yeah? Alright, do you know what he's talking about? Yes, brother. Yes, man, listen to me, yeah? Do you understand this verse? According to you, no No, 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 no. Do, you, do you understand this? Yes, okay. better than you. Okay, so what, what analogous, what analogous, and what parallel is Jesus drawing? You tell me? No, no, you, you see, you, 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 you tell out. me? You made a point. Do you know? If you don't know, say, I don't know. You know you don't, know. don't act like you know all. Do you know what? And I know David's a prophet. What's the parallel? Can you? <laughs> see, 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 this is called an ad hominem. You're trying to trip, you're trying to transfer, uh, uh, you're trying to throw a red hair in, you're trying to change the subject, deal with the subject, okay? Do you know what that parallel got Jesus on that is being drawn in this text? Do I don't know? have the Holy Spirit, you tell me. Ah, uh, see, okay. Carry Do on. you know yes or no? I just want to know. I don't know what you know, no? <laughs> I'm asking you. You don't know. You don't know. Not what you, you know. Humble you yourself. Know. What are you humble yourself? Let's say this. I don't know. God, God, I, I don't know what you know. Right. I don't know what Godwin knows. Right. Here, the analogous, the analogous uh, which is clearly being sh um, shown, okay, uh, very clear. Carry is, on. is a Jewish household, yeah. okay, and the world. Yeah. Okay? You have a Jewish household and the world. Yeah. Right? You have... Um, in, 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 the, in the Jewish household, you have the, the mother and the father who would bring food into into the household, okay? Just as you had God who would bring his word, word, the Bible says, is meat, is, is the bread of life. So it's the word who would bring um, food, the words to his people. There's, no, there's only two people, two types of um, people, or, or types of um, people in the world. And that's Jews and Gentiles, okay? And the analogous is in that household, there were um, just the dogs and the children that need to, need to eat, need food. And so what he's saying here, he's saying, listen, in priority, yeah, is he's prioritizing. He's saying that first, it must come. He's not calling the woman a, a, just a dog. He's simply saying that the Jews first are going to receive the, uh, receive the, the, the news, the gospel. The, the Jews would then, through that, through the Jews, the gospel would be spread to all the earth, wow. to all the Gentiles. Whereas, the, and, and so, and so, whereas, and, and the, 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 the woman understood this because she understood that because um, he was speaking about the children. The children are priority. They're going to be fed, and then the dogs, and then the animals will receive it. And so he wasn't simply saying that the woman is a dog. He wasn't disrespecting her, or calling her name. He was saying that she he was simply saying using a priority order. You don't do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Can I respond? Yes, you can. Okay. Everybody, this is what happens when you go to church every Sunday, listen to Jimmy Swagger, and don't read biblical scholarship. Yeah? Matthew chapter 15. And Matthew chapter 10 represents what the historical Jesus said. Biblical scholars such as James D.G. Dunn, Bart Ehrman, E.B. Sanders, Haya Maccabee say that this reflects what the historical Jesus said. And it was later Christians who claimed this for the whole world. In fact, in this New American Bible, not Muslim Bible, yeah? On the commentary of Matthew chapter 10, are you not listening? I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. every word you're saying. I'm yeah? listening. The Their commentary on Matthew, uh, Mark chap uh, Matthew chapter 10 verse 5 to 6 and um, Matthew chapter 15 verse 24 This is what they say The 12, the 12, stay around, stay around, the 12 disciples are sent only to Israel This saying may reflect an original Jewish Christian refusal of the mission to the Gentiles But for Matthew it expresses rather the limitation that Jesus himself observed during his ministry Do you hear that? I ain't finished, I ain't finished Yeah so now the problem is number one the servant of isaiah 42 has to come to the gentiles jesus called the gentile dogs and his own scholars 
and this commentary admit he was only for the Jews. Number two, he said that Kedar would be finished within a year of Isaiah 21. Let's take a walk I, I wait, a walk wait. I, I showed, number one, how yeah. Isaiah 21 is a fulfillment in the life of the prophet Muhammad on Nubi peace. Number two, Muhammad. how Kedar exists in Isaiah 42. Number three, the servant of Isaiah 42, when he comes, he will go to the serv um, descendant of Ishmael to the mountain in Medina. He hasn't showed us that Jesus went, show me where Matthew says Jesus went to Makkah and Medina and you win the debate. So, so far, it's like nearly four. Show me where Matthew says Jesus went to the people no, 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 of Makkah and Medina. In, you said in um, Isaiah chapter 42. Yeah. That, that person would go to Kedah. Yes. Show us that. Well, how will they rejoice? How will they rejoice? You're the exit. One minute, one minute. You're, 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 minute. you're filling in the gap. It doesn't say that. <laughs> one minute. You're lying. One minute. You're lying. One minute. You're lying. One minute. You're lying. No, one minute. No, no, no. One you're second. Finished. One second. He does not say. One second. Right. But he doesn't the even servant. Say that. Do you lie? One minute. Are you fighting? Wait, wait. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. No, wait. The servant of Isaiah 42 will be a light to the Gentiles. Show me where Matthew says Jesus went to Makkah and Medina. Show me where Matthew says Jesus went to Makkah and Medina. Show me where Matthew says Jesus went to Makkah and Medina. Show me where Matthew says Jesus went to Makkah and Medina. Show me where Matthew says Jesus went to Makkah and Medina. Show me where Matthew says Jesus went to Makkah and Medina. Show me where Matthew says Jesus went to Makkah and Medina. Show me where Matthew says Jesus went to Makkah and Medina. Read the verse. Where did Jesus say? Read, read the verse. Read the verse. Read the verse. Read yours. Okay. Okay. Verse 42. Yeah. Okay. After what? Chapter, no, no, chapter 42. Yeah. After what? Let the wilderness, yes. the desert, and its towns raise their voices. Right. Let the settlements where Kedar, yes. the descendants of yes. Ishmael, live yes. rejoice. Right. Let the people of Salah sing for joy. Yes. Let them shout from the mountain tops. Right. Let them give glory let to the them. Lord. Let them, yes. yeah. let them so, sing. Let them rejoice. Yeah. Where does it say that? Does it, the he mission of the servant? It doesn't, it doesn't say that there. Okay. You are so okay. imposing so one your, second. your presupposition one second. Of, your, of what you believe. It doesn't say that. Do you understand? So let me respond to what you just no, said. Let me finish. No, no, let, let me finish. Let me finish. The point I'm trying to make. Let me respond to what you One minute. One minute. The point I'm trying to make is. The mission of this servant oh, is no. for the Gentiles and the people of Ishmael and Medina. So if you're saying that it's about Jesus, when did this happen? That's my point. Okay, you understand? Okay, okay. let me go. Tell let me us. Do Eastbrook, okay. Okay. Right. Clearly, you didn't understand about the, um, the, the South Sanusian uh, woman. Clearly, you understand. Well, I gave okay. you your own commentary. No, 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 no. Are you okay, okay, let, okay. Let's start with that. Are they wrong? Let's start with that. Okay. You're talking about the commentary, okay? Yeah. You use scholars, okay? To um, um, to approve your position, right? Now, majority of New Testament scholars believe that Jesus Christ died, okay? Majority of, uh, okay. of New Testament scholars. In fact, um, Bar Omer says okay. one irrefutable fact okay. is that Jesus Christ definitely lived okay. and died. Okay. Did Jesus live? Did Jesus die?